What's up YouTube? It's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, back with another video in the medication series. As you can see, today's medication is Sumatriptan. So let's get started. Sumatriptan, as the name implies, is a member of the broader class of migraine medications known as triptans. Triptans have a lot of things in common, both in how they work and things to avoid with them. Uh, I've covered that in previous videos, so if you want to uh, get a little more in-depth about triptans, be sure to check those videos out. Uh, I'll paint with broad strokes about sumatriptan uh, and emphasize the fact that it is an abortive migraine medication. All triptans are abortive migraine medications, and by abortive, uh, your doctor should inform you that it's the kind of medication that, say on, say, a pain scale or an intensity scale of 1 to 10, that if you notice your migraines hitting that 3 to 4 mark uh, and doesn't feel like it's slowing down, and we all know what that feels like. It doesn't feel like it's going to stop at 3 to 4. You would think about taking a triptan to prevent it from progressing to 5, 6, and beyond. Uh, once your migraine is full-blown, maybe 7 or 8, taking a triptan, they say, uh, the, the, the effects are very minimal. Um, so you'd want to get, you want to hit it early, is the idea. Um, but it is, it is a, a brain-altering drug to some degree, right? It does affect brain chemistry as well as some other uh, uh, things like your heart. Uh, so there is a, a milligram limit to how much you can have in a 24-hour cycle. So for example, with sumatriptan, you can have up to 200 milligrams in a 24-hour cycle, but then you need to stop. Uh, you need to stop for a number of reasons, uh, perhaps the most ironic of which is that if you get too much sumatriptan or any triptan in your system, as it starts to leave your system, you're, you go through mild withdrawal symptoms. And what's one of the most common withdrawal symptoms? Headaches. So, you know, I know migraines aren't just headaches, but it is terribly ironic that for a migraine medication, uh, a withdrawal symptom could be headaches. You take a pill to get rid of your headache and you get a headache. Uh, so, what's my personal experience with sumatriptan? Um, it, it's really not been great. Um, typically, there are two main side effects that I get. Uh, I will say, to be honest, right, it does tend to stop the pain progression of the migraine. Uh, if my migraine's at a four or five and I take it typically, that migraine pain will not increase beyond that. It might stay at four or five, but it doesn't increase, so it does do that. Uh, the reason I hesitate to take sumatriptan um, is because I get really dizzy. Uh, one of the potential side effects of it is vertigo, and I don't know if I've ever had vertigo. I had the U2 album. Uh, but I don't know that I've ever actually had vertigo, but I get so dizzy on sumatriptan that I, I wouldn't drive, for example. Uh, it's, it's that disorienting to me. Uh, so if I'm going to take it, I you know have to basically plan for the next three to five hours to not leave the house. Even walking is a little sketchy, uh, but at least I'm not going to run into someone else uh, walking the same way you would if you were driving. Um, so there's the dizziness, and then there's also a really intense, like, oral feature, uh, which is a phrase I don't think I've ever said before, um, to uh, sumatriptan, and that is one that my teeth really tingle. All triptans actually make my, my teeth tingle. At least that's what it feels like. It's like an extremely minty toothpaste, uh, but no mint flavor, just the tingle. Uh, and then uh, I also get a really intense, like, grinding sensation in my teeth. Uh, so it's tingly, grindy, and then dizzy. Uh, very, very dizzy. Um, so it, the migraine has to be getting pretty intense for me to think that sumatriptan is going to be a good solution to it. Sadly, uh, the pill form of sumatriptan uh, isn't what I've typically had. I've had the nasal spray version. Uh, and the nasal spray version, actually, I was very impressed with. It was one of the only, it's, it's, it's the only triptan out of the four or five that I've tried that actually about 50, 60% of the time, stopped the migraine progression and had very, very minimal side effects. Uh, the first time I sprayed the nasal spray, I literally had like an aha moment. I was like, I found the, the holy grail. This is it. Two things uh, I started to notice as I would take it every once in a while that uh, it, it was only about a 50, 60% chance that it was going to be that good. Um, the other time I would get really intense uh, dizziness, the tingliness a little bit, um, but mostly dizziness, and it didn't seem to stop the migraine pain. So, uh, you know, that 40 or 50 percent of the time that it didn't work, it really didn't work. Um, but the 50, or the 50, 60 percent of the time that it did work, it really worked. So, 
uh, that was a nice feature. Um, but because it worked, uh, I, I think an APB went out uh, from the university clinic I go to and they stopped carrying the nasal spray. All I can get now are pill form. Uh, so that kind of sucks. And I don't know if it's placebo effect with the nasal spray versus the pill form, uh, if I just wanted it to work differently, and so it did. Uh, I'm, there has to be some molecular difference in a liquid nasal spray versus a solid pill. So I think I'm at least on some firm ground thinking that the nasal spray had, had better effects than the pill. Uh, but I'm sure there's some YouTuber out there that'll blast me for this, so that's fine. Uh, Third, uh, there's the spray, there's the, the pill, and then there's also an injectable version. You can get it injected, um, and I've never tried that. So if you have, I'd really be interested um, to hear your experience with that if you want to write something in the comments below. Um, one, I'd like to know just to, just to know what it feels like, what it's like. But two, also, I've never had any of the doctors I've gone to actually offer it as an option. So if it's been really helpful to you, I would like to know because... I would want to talk to the doctors about doing that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a rough overview of sumatriptan. Uh, it's certainly not the be-all, end-all. If, if other triptans haven't worked for you, uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Uh, but if you're uh, looking for a, a medication to try and prevent your migraine pain from progressing, it doesn't seem to be any worse than any of the other triptans out there. Uh, so if your doctor thinks about prescribing it, uh, of course be informed. Uh, there's going to be links in the description uh, to where I got all of my information uh, as well as you should do your own research. Uh, just a side note, I have noticed uh, bouncing around different doctors uh, that you know an informed patient is a better patient. Uh, the first doctor I went to, he you know said he would get a migraine once or twice a year and he would pop a triptan and it would go away and that the same thing could be expected for me. That didn't work, this was years ago, that didn't work um, and then he just started cycling me through a bunch of different medications, um, which is where I got the basis for doing these videos because I didn't see anything else like it on YouTube uh, or on the internet. Uh, but two, uh, cycling through a bunch of different medications turns out to be a horrible way to try to prevent and uh, uh, respond to uh, migraines. Uh, I've been to more doctors uh, after that one guy who have had a much different approach uh, in my opinion, a much better approach. Though I still haven't found uh, medication or medications that when combined really reduce the frequency and intensity, uh, at least methodologically, uh, the first guy's approach to just, well, try this pill, no, try this pill. Uh, had I been more educated at the time, I would have questioned stronger. So uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, do your own research. Uh, let me know uh, what kind of medications you would want more videos of. I've got some more stuff on the docket. Uh, but if I've forgotten something uh, or you want me to talk to my doctors about something you're on and see how I respond to it, uh, should they prescribe it, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye.